Uh, welcome back, we're in Icarus still. Um, first episode, we managed to get ourselves a uh, hut built and get some weapons so we can at least defend ourselves and protect ourselves from the environment. Um, one thing I want to do, well I remember crafting, is I want to create a torch. This will then go into the, just move up for a minute, you see this slot down here, the L slot, uh, that's where you can put a light and it won't set you a light. Um, and I would use press the L key and as you can see it creates some light around you. Uh, that's really useful at night because it gets very dark. As you appreciate you're in a, um, a world where there's no natural light, uh, there's no artificial light, so it does get dark at night. Now what I want is to be able to build a bedroll and to do that I need 20 fur. Currently I have three probably stored in my fire, I know it's a strange place to store it, but it's better than nothing. Um, also one of here, I'm quickly going to build a couple of containers, a couple of chests. Let me just place these down. Um, You click twice to place them, so the first click, you've got to get them green. First click places them, and then by moving with the mouse left and right, you can rotate. Second click, second click places them, and it access them to F. So I don't really want any seeds on me. Uh, bone, I've got quite a few sticks, let's just get rid of the bulk of them. Um, let's bring the arrows down and my food down the bottom so I can see what I've got. So we've got fibres, sticks, wood, don't need that on me at the moment. Uh, oxide I'll hold on to for the moment. Again, I've got a lot of wood, don't need a lot. And that's leather from the, um, and bones from the um, boar I killed. I'll hold on to them on me at the moment. I will hold on to them for the moment. Um, close. Right. Let's see if we can try and get some more food. So with the bow selected, oh, there's another ore over there. If you right click, you go into stealth mode. Sorry, I'll start again. If you click the left control, you go into stealth mode. Right click, brings that bow up. Left click, click draws. And release the left button to fire. Oh, that was close. He nearly got me. So now my um, skinning knife. And F just to skin him. That little red symbol in the middle, in the middle means that it's going to draw in uh, carnivores. Things like bears and um, wolves if you don't get rid of the carcass. And as you can see the carcass has a decay rate and durability. So the axe that just chop up the bones. Once the durability goes down, to stand zero. I've now got those bones. Um, and if I look at my inventory, I've got another two skins. I've got some raw bacon. So for now, let's just go. I'll take this out of here. As you can see, it's starting to get quite dark. So I'll turn the light on. And I'll just dump them in there for now. And all the seeds. The bacon can go in the fire, I'll activate that and cook it up. And now let's see, turn the light off again. See if we can find anything else. Got the melons, just too far. Points on too many inventory, they just decay. They're all fish in some of the waters and rivers. I don't think there's any point here. I think they're a bit further down. Oh, it's getting a bit dark to hunt, but... I want to be careful. I don't want to get too far down, because, uh, as I said previously, there's bears down here, and they just destroy you. This early in the game was so difficult to kill. 
There's something. There's a deer over there. Let's see if I can get it. No. I can't see if I'm fitting high or low. What's the problem? They see me now, they've got the torch on. What on earth is going on? A wasted hunt. That was appalling. Not normally that bad. I've only got three arrows left, so I need to craft some arrows. Yeah, I think it's just going to be too dark to hunt. Oh, carrots. So there are some carrots. You can eat them raw, or you can roast them. Notice my um, knife's getting quite bad. I need some stone to repair it. That's what I mean. If you look here, um, right click repair is grayed out. It says I need one stone, which I don't have on my inventory at the moment. So let's see if I find a stone. There we go. Right click repair. I used all the stones to create arrows with. And here's a rabbit. Rabbits are a bit easier to get money. He says. There we go. Give me a little bunny, your lunch. No weather coming in. Oh, look at there's a wolf. So if you can, the knife is really good if you can get them in the head. It kills them really quickly. Oh god, it's one of these horse things. It'll kill me if I'm not careful. There's a water. Oh Christ, and the bear now. Yes, I'm dead. I didn't even see the bear coming. So the wolf probably pulled in the bear the dead wolf what's that there's another horse that was a horse a wolf they're not called horses they're called something else but uh yeah and a wolf so i actually pulled in a lot of aggro there and um, obviously i'm dead so i've got to respawn now when you respawn without a bed you come back down the drop ship yes i don't think no no, oh, no, you've got to respawn around. Yeah, you do have to respawn around the location. This could be miles away. So it's like a cut down, drop ship, you come, uh, come back in. Once you got a bed, you respawn your bed. It was in the past you used to lose your um, experience to the next level, but that's changed. Which I think is a good thing for some single player, because that, that's really difficult. So where on earth am I? Okay, I'm up here. Uh, my uh, home's down here, so I've got no light at the moment. Uh, it's cold. There's a cliff there I need to follow around. By the looks of it. You see what I mean about being dark. Oh my god, there's a wolf there already. 
I'm going to die again. I've got nothing to defend myself with. Oh, he didn't see me. How oh, didn't he see me? I was literally right on top of him. Oh, and I'm going the wrong way. I want to be heading uh, there at the top there, that little um, tombstone shape is where my body is. That's where my drop ship, ship is, so I need to be over that way. I'm just running on blind here, trying to pick things up as I go. Good, I've got enough to create a... At least get some light to see what I'm picking up. What do I need for a spear? I do want to start crafting lots of other things, lots of other weapons, because when they cover my body, I can actually pick up everything I dropped. But I think the first thing to do is to um, find some shelter. Oh, that's one of the old things again. Oh, just stop following me. Uh, I can't run very fast because of the wind. It's really slowing me down. But there's my home. So now I'll just get inside. body's not far away from here, it's just over there. So let the storm exposure go down. Right, Fingers crossed I don't get killed again. Body. Oh well, all my items take all and everything goes back to where it was. So let's just get out the water. Cold and wet. Get by the fire and warm up. I'm just wet. Can actually stand in here and do that, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Eat a melon. Eat some meat. I've got my carrots there, so I can actually reach the fire from here, put the carrots in the fire, pick up that, and put the meat, the raw meat on the fire, that will cook, um, which will give me some health back, if it's back at full. Um, if I put the rotten spoiled meat on there, it'll turn into charcoal, but you can use that later on, so let's just clear some bits, don't need that, that, I don't need that, I do need the oxide. So there, carrots now actually give me more than they did before. I've, I've got all three stomachs full, so I don't want it. And that meat's nearly done. There we go, fresh meat as well, cooked meat. Right, let's try and find something else to hunt. So I desperately need more fur. 
I think we'll avoid going down to the that way for the time being. To the south, we'll head north a little way. Tend to not to be so deadly. Once you have a bed, you can actually sleep through the night. Kill those bloody horses again. Okay, let's get some walks out over here. I can actually use pumpkins as well. Because we cook the pumpkins, and it's another food that gives you benefits. But again, you can only have what's that? I can put one of them. so much on you. Wheat, by the way, certain things like the scores, which you can use later on, they don't decay in the inventory. That is the wheat. Carrots there, uh, I'm not going to pick them for now because I don't want them to decay in the inventory. Yeah, we get a lot more experience for killing animals as well than we do for harvesting. I fear I'm going to have to wait till dawn before I can see anything worth killing. Wait a minute, it's just too dark. There's my land, so I know it's one of them. Horse thing that comes to the That bloody wolf. I don't want to stray too far from the riverbank. Because that's normally a saviour trying to get the deeper water. Obviously, as soon as you go in the water, your light goes out, but. as it would in real life. It's really just messing around here, isn't it? I don't know, making a lot of noise, harvesting, and. Whatever you but still, you know we get to see something. I'm guessing that wolf I killed is decayed by now. Or been eaten by the bears or the or the wolves. Because they do eat them. That squeaky noise is a moa bird, I think it is called. They can be quite deadly too. Get up, careful. They move really quickly. That's something there. What is it? Shamwar? Pronghorn. That's a deer. I can't actually see it well enough to you. There we go, headshot. Headshot, instant kill. So, let's just hold it. Oh no, I've got nothing to... No, my inventory's full. So what I can do is, I can pick it up. And run away with it. It's on the cut from the inventory, so get rid of that, 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 okay. Now I can harvest it. I 
That cracking noise was my nose breaking. So down the bottom you can see the broken shield, means the tool's broken. Again, I've got a stone on me so I can just repair it. Well, I'm here, might as well repair everything because it's early in the game, it's really cheap to repair these items. Later on, you need specific materials and workbenches. So, I've got another six. So that's 13. Um, first, I need another seven. And I want to drop the raw meat into there to cook. Don't need that. And drop the pumpkin in to cook. Uh, it's getting a bit lighter outside. See what we want. In relative safety of the planet. Okay. Oh, one button. By the way, to get that up, you press the um, key above the tab. Okay, so another three points. Currently level four. What I really oh, I need that to be able to start um, drying some meat. Uh, I could probably do with that to heal myself if I get uh, quite bad damage. And um, what else? Let's see. Nothing there, nothing there really. Um, the fire whacker, because if you're building satellite, you need that to be able to put the building out. Okay, two points. So, wood, could use a lot of wood and uh, dense packing to allow me to carry more and solo gain straight to stamina right crafting let's build a drying work Here for the time being. Take up quite a bit of space this drying rack. But when you get certain meats you can put them on here. Unfortunately you can't put bacon or raw meat on there, it's got to be specific types of meat. Like white meat from the birds and, and ribs and joints really. So it's starting to get a little bit lighter so let's see what we can find. I really want to get that bed made so it gives me a spawn point. Which means I need to hunt. Oh, so what does this give me? 75 max stamina. That can be 75 max health plus health to regen. Uh, that can be maximum stamina, so that's stamina, that's stamina, for now. Uh, I might as well, that's not far from being consumed, so we'll get myself consumed. And I'll just boost that number back up. The number down the bottom left there, I mean, in your stomach. I'm waiting here, but why? Something went over there. Okay, uh, it's a buffalo over there. And um, these are fairly. Oh, tight. Shamble. Good 
shot perfect. I didn't think I was going to get that one. Where is it? There it is. Let me back. Yeah, the buffalo. The buffalo won't hurt you unless you attack it, and then it's quite fearsome. And you need a better knife than the stone or bone knife to be able to um, harvest it. You need an iron knife, I think it is at least. I guess just to get through its tough hide. So I'm not going to touch the buffalo at this point. So I mean you get 28 experience for harvesting wheat. Um, where is it? I've got 40 wheat there, so you get quite a bit. And while I can't do anything with it at the minute, it does become me so later on. Set something down there. I can't see a lot. Here, but I can't see. There you are. Damn, it didn't kill him. There he is, over there. Let's try and sneak up on him. I need to get a bit closer. Ah, what's that? I see something over there. If you can get a headshot. When you're in stealth, you get a massive bonus, which a lot of time will kill them outright. So, stay still. Oh, got it, but it wasn't enough. These bone arrows, just stone arrows, sorry, just not enough to kill them with one headshot.
to be careful, I don't want to fill my inventory with wheat. That deer went over this way, didn't he? He can't sometimes find them again. And bump them off. Yeah, yeah, well, if I can hear you. I can't see you, but I can hear you. I think I lost him. Let's head back towards the water so at least I've got a bit of protection. Where are you? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I don't want to play. One of these horse things, I can't remember what they're called. No, they're in I don't think I've ever taken this long to try and actually hunt enough to be able to build a bed. Oh, there's one of the other those um, birds. That's a young one. I've just chased off whatever that was. Uh, that's a mother and a young. Do I risk it? Do I try and go for the mother? Right here. Yeah, get the nose. I'm going to be too far close to this oak crop here. We tend to get a lot of. Animals around here, but it's also a lot of carnivores and hunt, um, bears and things. I've really never seen it so empty. Okay, I've got a little boat, well, no water, so I'm coming to drink out of the water. There's a chance of making some parasites. I didn't that time exactly, but you can. Looks like let's pick that up. Sure, there's got to be something around here. So my food's running out, so. Something. Can I get it from here? Damn, no. Oh, well, well, no, I'll take the stuff up there, I don't really need it just yet.
Como... Challenging and expecting. Right, let's just head back. How much further did I get? Seven. That should be okay now. That should be enough. And oh, the sun's come up now. I can see a bit better. That should be enough for me to build the bed and the spawning point. To set up my spawning point. See, so yes, I don't know. I thought I'd blood there. I don't think it's ever taken me this long just to get a bed before. So I don't know if I stun my runs out. Anything else around here? No, it's a low bird. It's too young. There we go, 20, exactly what I needed. So let's just place some of in there. Oh, what if my fire going? Take these, the meat's about to expire so I can see it. So that berry. You can see from the pumpkin, it gives you maximum stamina increase and exposure resistance increase. Wow. Anyway, bed. Let's get the bed made. There we go. I can now make the bed roll. Craft that. And uh, let's place the bed. So it's going to be near a fire. So currently the fire's there. So I'm just going to place a bedroll here. And then you um, press and hold F to set your spawn point. So that now bed indication. The bed icon means if I die I'll respawn here. Anyway guys that's enough for the second session there. Sorry it's not been as uh, interesting as the first. We spent a lot of time just trying to get enough animal hides to be able to create that bed. Now at least when it goes to night I can just come up to here and you see F, press F to enter bed. As long as after 6 p.m. in the evening, uh, you will then sleep through, and as long as there's a fire going, the fire has to be burning, and you're close to it, um, you will wake up at 7 a.m. the following morning, and it saves you having to try and run around at night where you can't see anything. Uh, early in the game, you need that because it just you saw how difficult it is to see anything in the dark. But what's up there? What's up moving around up there? Thought saw something. That's it, guys. Thank you. This is Dragonfly Gamer signing up. Have a good one.